Hey guys, so I recently discovered this new tool called Modernize for Golang. It's part of the Go PLS. And I want to make a quick video about it because I think it's really cool. It's essentially a CLI tool, part of the Go PLS again, that will replace kind of the syntax uh, with like newer releases or newer things in the language itself. Things like interface can be replaced with any and things like, you know, if else conditions with min and max and things like that. These kind of things are hard to catch sometimes, mainly because, you know, the language changes, new things happen, and then you just don't know what to change. So this tool allows you to kind of catch all these things, analyze them essentially, and it will update the code for you. And so far it works really well. I haven't found like any significant issues. It's very important, however, when you run this, um, run your kind of formatter and kind of the import thingy or CLI tool to kind of clean up things. But so far as a tool to kind of replace code, it works really well. And so I want to make this quick video and show you an example of how it works and some of the things that I've been kind of playing with in terms of like mixing it with FDF and being able to run it on kind of whatever file super quickly. Here I have a very simple file here. I tried to put examples for each of the different kind of changes that it can do. For example, interfaces, sort of slice, and you know, etc. So you see here my editor shows me like things like sort.slice can modernize to using slices.sort. So it tells me what I can change, right? So, and I can go here and just run a code action and pretty much change them one by one, right? But this can be slow. And I know like there's probably a way to do it like fully on your file here without having to do it one by one. But I wanted to do it differently this time around. And I decided to create like a mix between FCF and modernize. If you go here, so first of all, I can obviously you know, run modernize and then modernize like fix and then this. You see, it changes the whole file for me, right? But if I want to do it on a single file, not just on the code base, and I want to like fuzzy find it, so obviously we use FZF for this. I did create like a quick or a simple shell script for this, this one here. Essentially, it's open up like FZF, goes all over all, all my files and just allows me to quickly run this. And as you can see, it updates my code. I did kind of did a couple of flavors of this. So one with FZF, one interactive, which essentially, um, same thing, it uses bat. And then when I click on it here, before it runs modernize, it shows me the things that will change. So in this case, it shows me a list of all the changes that we want to do on it. And then if you press enter, you can fix it and pretty much does the same thing, right? Now, the last kind of idea here was modernize, but then scanner. This is slow. And this is like, you know, if you have a large code base, this might not be the best idea. But if you have a relatively small code base, this is cool because essentially it kind of pre-analyzes the code. And then when you have like multiple files here, you can pretty much see the changes in all the files and then select which one you want to change. And it does the same thing. So press enter, you can fix or cancel and the same thing essentially. So this is the tool. It's pretty sick. I think at some point I'm going to find a kind of nice integration with, with um, new of them. I can just run it with a key map here and move on. But so far I'm liking this idea of extracting some of this functionality outside of my editor and then just making a CLI tool. It just feels nice. Somehow it makes me more focused on what's going on. I don't know why. Yeah, so another idea I did here, for example, is I did something similar, but for like my tests. If you see here, I use FZF, I parse some code and then because Golang, like the convention is you have underscore test, that means it's a test file. And then inside the test itself, if you use test and then the name of the thing. So it's easy to parse it and tell where your tests are. And so when I select this one, it also kind of goes through the file itself and shows me the specific test I want to run. And if I press enter, it just runs it. I know usually like with Go, you can just like make test. Essentially you have like a make file and you kind of run the test, but if I want to run a single test quickly without having to write like a long line or whatever, this is like my favorite way now. It's part of this mentality of trying to, you know, have my terminal do one thing and one thing really well. So running my test, this is how I do it. Running my modernize thingy, that's how I do it. And so on and so forth. So with modernize, for example, I think this would be super useful for uh, your CI pipeline. So like if you have a you know, before you commit your code, you can run this modernize on it and you make sure like everybody's using the you know, latest features in the language. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.